How much lead? It's a hard question to answer. Every target is a different speed, distance and angle. But there's one thing that I can tell you to get you hitting more crows consistently. And that is line is key. I'll explain this in more detail in just a minute. I'm very passionate about passing on my knowledge. So I thought why not put into a video to try and maybe help some of my viewers. So let's get into it. Hello everyone and welcome back to Field Sports with Speed. So how much lead do you give a crow? That's something I can answer exactly. But what I can do is I can share some of my experiences and knowledge with you. So whether you've been struggling in the past or you're currently struggling, you just you're in the hide or out thinking where on earth am I missing these birds? Hopefully this video will give you a bit of an insight as to where you might be going wrong. I'm certainly a visual learner and maybe some of you are too so actually seeing it on a video and seeing that lead of the gun might just help you. So as I mentioned earlier on in this video line is key and what I mean by this is you'll see on this clip we've got a crow coming into the decoys he's coming straight ahead and then he veers off. If I'd have come through the bird and tried to shoot out of more than likely winged it or missed it down the side i wait for them to come straight up to me and then as they turn that's when i move the gun and shoot them and you'll see that on quite a lot of my crows if it's coming straight across the pattern lovely you get on for it you shoot it but if they are coming in and they're going to turn and you, you've got the opportunity to let them turn let them turn because you'll get them that's a consistent line. You know that they've turned. They're not going to turn another direction anytime soon. So wait for them to turn. Line is key. So before we start talking about lead, I just want to say, don't rush your shots. You know, crows are slow moving birds and you don't have to rush them. Just take your time. And that, even if you left, left it another 10, 15 yards, you're better off letting off a comfortable shot that's more accurate than rushing and just trying to pick it up with the second barrel so oh. don't rush your shots take your time a great aid that you'll have all seen me use is the shot cam you know it shows you exactly where your point of aim is and you can look at it so easily um, to see what lead and the line that you're giving birds i remember back one day me and jace was out on a a, a crop and I was actually shooting a semi-auto, which I don't shoot very often, or I have shot a couple recently, but back then I'd not really shot one much. And I'm not joking, I missed like the first seven or eight birds. He was looking at me like, what on earth are you doing? I was getting really frustrated, to be fair, and I thought this is going to be a waste of a day. But what I did do was I downloaded the footage from the shot cam on my phone and looked at it. And what I could see I was doing is I was actually dropping the gun as I fired it so obviously because the gun was quite light I was probably lifting my head as you lift your head your gun will automatically go down that's what your hands do um, and I was missing like that and if it wasn't for that shot cam I'd have had a really really bad day but I see what I was doing wrong and I corrected it so let's have a look at some of this shot cam footage and actually measure how much in front I am on these birds Okay, so if we break it down into the sort of targets we're going to see over the pattern, the first one, a nice steady bird into the pattern. Like you can see, this one's coming steadily across the pattern. If they're looking down at the pattern, looking around where to land, perfect. You know that they're committed. So this bird you can see is coming steadily into the pattern. I'm sort of holding the gun a little bit like, what's it going to do? Because I'm sort of anticipating it's going to turn but it actually didn't and so what I did is I found my line corrected my line and I pushed just in front I'm about half a foot lead I'd say so now with these steady birds you don't need to get that far in front because the bird isn't traveling fast so you don't have as much lead but you can see it killed the bird nice and cleanly another one in the bag and a crafty overhead target you're always going to see one of those and that's when they just come from behind the hedge and with these targets i think it's really important to keep the gun below the target so you'll see on this clip that i've held out in front of the bird i'm looking at the bird but the gun's below it 
and I just correct that gun just below it and squeeze the trigger and that is really important people who try and go through them or wave at them will generally miss them just hold that gun underneath it and bang it's not really a lead as such it's a bit of spot shooting but it generally works quite well next type of target and this happens quite a lot with me you're there messing about in the hide doing something and one snuck into the pattern and as you look up he's there and he's seen and he's gone to fly away so going away target with those as you see them they're going away you're going to come up from the bottom of them and push to the edge which it's going and it's as simple as that with targets there it's just thinking about where that target's going not where it's been now this is a target that if the birds aren't overly confident they might just be hanging on the back edge of the pattern and they're a little bit more distant so again you can see with this bird i've pulled a steady gun through the bird corrected my line and i'm out about three foot in front if we said a crow from its beak to its tail ends about a foot and a half you could probably fit two crows in that gap so three foot lead and as you can see again it's killed the bird nice and cleanly which is perfect so all these different targets are stuff you're going to see over decoys or certainly what i've seen over decoys and they're not fact these measurements are rough guides and it's how i perceive lead there's so many other factors to consider like gun speed and just how you're going to see it yourself but hopefully it'll help and if you like it that's great if not I won't do them again. I just wanted to say a massive thank you to everyone who's been watching the channel and supported me and please for this video if you can like and comment and I want to know if you want this sort of content, if you like the tutorial, if you like learning the stuff that I've done then that would be great, I'll keep on making them but if you don't I'll stick to what I have been doing. So thanks again guys, I really do appreciate it, I hope you've learned something or just enjoyed watching how I perceive my shooting and i'll catch you on the next video soon